If you were in my shoes, you would know that I use humor as a defense mechanism because seeing people happy makes me happy. And in uncomfortable situations, I just want people to feel better. People think I have everything together. They think I have my whole life figured out. But if you were really in my shoes, you would know that I have no idea what I'm doing. And I changed my major and I don't, I mean, I know I want to do it, but it's so hard and there's just so much to do. If you were in my shoes, you would know that I don't stress about anything. Eliminating the stress, eliminating all the, the emotions and the feelings, you can get things done in a more efficient way and you feel better about yourself. If you were in my shoes, uh, you would know that I like to go hiking and that I love playing sports. can't really tell because I'm a bigger girl, but I'm actually very athletic, so don't judge people, get to know them. If you were in my shoes, you would know that I am afraid of failing because there's a lot of people counting on me and looking up to me, so failing is not acceptable for me, but I've learned that it's okay to do your own thing and that everything will fall in place and not to worry and stress about it. If you were in my shoes, you would know that I lived most of my life without my mom. When I was really young, she passed away to breast cancer. That was very difficult for me, uh, being a very young person. But I think in the end, I was able to take that uh, experience and be able to grow closer bonds with some of my other family members. Most of the time, I'm having a hard day with my classes or certain issues, so I always think of others. I try my best to always keep a smile so everyone can see that I'm happy, and I always come up with a good laugh for everyone, and if I'm giving someone a good day, then that's another reason for me to smile. I had my son before my senior year in high school and college wasn't really an option for me, but I decided to come here to Stanislaus and um, I graduated within five years getting my bachelor's, now I'm getting my master's. You just really have to learn how to prioritize your um, life and make sure you're spending enough time at home with him, but it's definitely worth it in the end and you're providing the best life that you can for your kids. If you were in my shoes, you would know that I get an average of five hours of sleep a night. I work five days a week at five o'clock in the morning, sometimes four o'clock in the morning. So with school and sorority and volunteering, sometimes I just don't get sleep. So it may look like I'm well rested when in reality I'm functioning on less. I'm not quite ready to leave Turlock because I came from LA, a huge city obviously. When I came here, I didn't really know a lot of people. So when I came here and got involved with intramurals, with Greek life, my fraternity Kappa Sig, it, it became, Santa Claus became a home for me. And now when I'm at home over winter break or summer break or whatever it is, I look forward to coming back here because this is where my friends with these guys have become my second family. And I miss being able to be here and just go and hang out with my friends whenever I really want. Back home, it's kind of the starting off from scratch and I miss the, the community that Stanislaus has really become for me.